The guys at Prototype This are out to reinvent the wheel by building the world's first six-legged, human-driven walking machine. Every vehicle needs a power source. And for a unique Stop. beast like the 6x6, a custom power system will be essential. So up in the lair, Joe is working on a one-of-a-kind battery management system, which he explains in an inside look at battery technology. Our all-terrain legged vehicle is electric, so it needs to run on batteries. The problem with the traditional car battery is that it's heavy and gives us a short run time. So I've specced these cutting edge, brand new battery cells from International Battery. The chemistry is lithium iron phosphate. And these things are starting to be used in all sorts of electric vehicles, and they're really prized for their lightweight and high power output. The problem is that these are just individual battery cells, not a full battery. To make all these cells into a full working battery, we need to have a battery management system. That's a set of electronics that monitors the charging and the discharging. But these things are so new that we can't just go buy a battery management system off the shelf. So guess who has to build one? And it has to be really precise. It has to work perfectly. If the charging current is too much, these batteries could explode. If the charging current is too low, the batteries won't charge. And if the discharge voltage gets below a certain level, these things could be destroyed forever. It's been a lonely time here in the lair, but I have my first assembled custom circuit board. With his first completed power system module in hand, Joe now needs to run some tests to make sure it will work as planned. First, Joe checks to see if he can control the battery's level of discharge. So it's hovering 3.7 is the max. It works. <laughs> but all that goes out must come back in. So Joe moves on to see if his custom circuit boards can charge the cells properly as well. Mixing batteries and electronics always has the potential for danger. That being said, the worst that could happen here is a bit of smoke and sparks. But never the toughest guy in the neighborhood, Jumpy Joe cautiously flips the switch. And to his relief, a red light appears, signaling that the battery is charging. Ladies and gentlemen, this is one battery that's getting a charge right now with my custom battery management circuit board. Big relief. The battery management system works. Now all I have to do is build 31 more.